We're here in Edinburgh, Scotland. We have our European Defender and we are going to make a north to south crossing of the United Kingdom. Okay, we're off on the Isle of Skye. We're going to go and do a little exploring today. Liza is driving the Defender. Um, so we're gonna go all the way across the island. We're sort of on the east coast right now of the Isle of Skye, sort of. And we're gonna go straight across the island. We're gonna check some stuff out there. Uh, we're gonna try to do some droning. It's actually really nice out today. It was raining all the day yesterday, but today it is not. And so we are going to uh, go check it out. So. Uh, yeah, let's see what we uh, get ourselves into. what I think is called the Neist Point Trail. Yeah, and the Neist Cliff Viewpoint. It sure is. I mean, it's incredible. Oh my God. There is a lighthouse down that way that I just hiked down to, but um, I didn't have a whole lot of time. No, so you ran kind of down there and back. I kind of ran down there and then had to like hoof it back up a super steep hill. So, um, uh-huh. Yeah, I took some great pictures though while you were down there. It was worth it. Yeah? Totally worth it. Nice. Well, at Stop. least one of us has seen it. All right, you ready to head back and, uh, do some wedding. Let's let's go to a wedding. Let's get let's get uh, let's get our wed on. All right, so it's day three. 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 We had a lovely wedding that we attended yesterday. To be fair, it wasn't our wedding. No. It was a lovely wedding. We attended a wedding, I oh, said. Yeah. And now, today, we are going to uh, very slowly drive from Isle of Skye, making some pit stops along the way to Inverness, and do some exciting Land Rovering adventuring on the way. And. Um, we might see some waterfalls. Land of 49,000 waterfalls. So we're gonna go uh, check some stuff out, do some land rovering, have a proper holiday.
Look who we found. It's Duncan Barber. Everyone's favorite camel trophy slash filmmaker <laughs> slash what have you, a legend. And we're here in the actual Bat Cave with the real Batman. Well, let's take a look. Let's all take right. a look at these vehicles. You want to go, okay. let's okay. go small to big. You can barely get around all of the incredible, genuine camel trophy merchandise. Yeah, I mean, some, some of these Zarge's boxes, these small ones, um, they were actually on the event with me. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is the Bat Bike, yeah. uh, and you've used this in, in all kinds of things, but uh, what's the sort of history of this? I bought this off a, off a grip who wasn't getting a lot of work for it. It was exactly like this, came with a few more bits of scaffold. Yeah, I've modified it slightly with this cargo rail that I mm -hmm. use all over my vehicles for mm -hmm. mounting seats on. Mm -hmm. um, and it's had everything on it from, you know, a camera operator with a steady cam on it to um, stabilized heads, uh, Jimmy Jib cranes, um, uh, 12 foot scaffold rigs, mm -hmm. um, all sorts. Did they come six wheel or is the six no. wheel something that was modified specifically for this? No, no, came as six wheel. Oh, this, wow, is a, this is a Polaris Sportsman. Okay, under the, cool. Under the, under the back. Uh, under skin. the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, oh, Polaris that's cool. Sportsman. All right, well, what's the next size up? So, next size up <laughs> is uh, uh, my Can Am Commander here. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, gone slightly bigger, side by side, 1,000cc engine as opposed mm -hmm. to 500 in the Polaris. And get two seats on the back. One of those seats will also mount on the roof. Um, this also worked on on Game of Thrones. Yep. So this did the, this kind of did the leading shot of Sansa and Littlefinger coming in to save the day. Yeah. Um, so we're tracking horses again there. So I've got airbags mounted um, just in behind the the shock mounts mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. um, on front and rear. Um, I suppose the next one up is actually the original one, the one right. that, the one that started it all. And that was the, this this vehicle here, which I had built for myself when I was on Camel Trophy with mm -hmm. a, an uprated engine, slightly modified suspension, but it was just really a, a fast Land Rover. I got a call from the, the call from Nick Phillips about um, what could he mount his equipment on for Braveheart. This is um, the vehicle that did all the, the, the Braveheart. Yeah, right? oh, yeah. So back wow. Sterling sequence. Wow. Um, kind of the first proper off-road camera tracking yeah with a decent shot of mm -hmm. it was filmed off this vehicle wow i so, didn't realize like, so one of the first things that was used on was was braveheart filming wise it was um camel trophy oh there right. was a yeah, major right. amount of stuff right, done right, on that right, right. Uh, out of the for, back of a, a back camel trophy truck <laughs> out the back of a camel trophy truck yeah but yes yeah i mean braveheart was the first big motion picture that um the the libra was truly used for off-road camera tracking wow um, this vehicle was the one that was in front of the, the tanks that came through the wall on, um, on Goldeneye. Yeah. Um, which was a pretty hairy stunt. I mean, that was more than a tracking shot. We yeah. were involved in the, <laughs> the stunt itself. And in fact, we're the only vehicle in the stunt that wasn't given, we weren't given an action. Mm. to go so we were left to our own to take our own cue right you know that involves <laughs> tank four, jumping at you tank yeah. jumping through a wall <laughs> at, at maximum speed right um that was that was quite a hairy moment because you know <laughs> if you got it wrong fantastic very famous land rover obviously yes. this is a yeah, yeah. That, eventually this will have to go down to phil bash or something <coughs> and become part of mm -hmm. the you know the, the the permanent collection such yes. as it is yeah yep. you know so yeah. this is the the Mark II, um, <laughs> which was built from scratch, built from mm -hmm. the chassis up, um, and basically I built this with regards to, based on everything I'd learned and right. the requirements that I was seeing. I still yep. knew, when I built it, I still knew that I wanted to concentrate on the off-road stuff. That yep. might have been, I mean, it'll do on-road as well. Sure, this, yeah. This is capable of doing 100 and, you know, probably, I've had it over 100, 105. You know, off-road, it's it's got an amazing ability. The, the, there's not many camera platforms that will take all the standard stuff, uh, Technocrane 30, yep. and then you can shove a, a Ukraine arm yep. or that kind of arm right. on the top of Up it. Right, up on top of it too yep. if you want. Yeah. yeah, this is really, I mean, this is uh, such a cool, vehicle i have to say like there's there's nothing quite like this anywhere in the, no, in no, the world there isn't. there isn't this is really really unique can we uh can we start it up i yeah, know this sure. has a, this fact, doesn't just have your standard land rover engine in it no no actually um this has got and i can show you what's under the bonnet mm -hmm. um being a land rover of course it's um it's uh, 
pretty agricultural with regards to. Oh, perfect! Yeah, the, the, the bonnet prop. Yeah, the bonnet right. prop. Yeah, we used a shovel on the rally car. All right, okay, yeah, that, that works. Was that standard. works. Yeah, yeah. So this one's um, just under 400 horsepower. Uh, but anyway, they, yeah. we gave them a spec as to what yeah. we wanted. So it's been built with lots of low end torque. Right. Because that's kind of where I need it initially. Need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, torque flight gearbox. Mm -hmm. Still using a standard Land Rover transfer box. Mm -hmm. Although mm -hmm. it's been rebuilt to to take some of the torque. The additional torque, yeah. Dynatrack axles, mm -hmm. and hence why it's sitting much wider than, yeah, than it's a, about than 12 standard, inches yeah. Yeah. wider than a standard Land Rover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and also the wider stance, I'm sure, is very helpful yeah. as well. Oh, well, little, absolutely. Yeah. That, yeah. that always felt, well, sometimes felt a bit tippy, especially right. when you, uh, um, we did the a tracking shot on the borrowers, mm -hmm. which was mm -hmm. then, uh, remember, remember the sequence where they're, they're sliding down a, a, um, a Fox line? Yeah. And yeah. Um, so we did a tracking shot against a wall for that. And for that, there was a 20 foot scaffold put on the roof of the Land Rover with a, a Libra head right at the top. Yep. So I think you should be the one to start it up. <laughs> Look at it's just like it's like flying a uh, like a bomber. I'm gonna get in. So the, you've got your two switches. There's no key in it or anything right. like that. Yeah. So switch those two up underneath. My dad gave me a present of a. Um, a starter switch mm -hmm. for a Merlin, a Rolls Royce Merlin engine. Fantastic. So that's underneath the switches, if you look underneath the, the cover. switches. Oh yes, look at this! Look at this engine start. And then All press right. the button. Wow, that is a uh, that is a significant yeah. uh, that is a significant uh, sound. That's not that's not your standard Land Rover no, <laughs> rumble. No. This is amazing. A little Jenny on the side. It doesn't. It doesn't sound as good as the main engine. Not quite. That sounds like a standard Land Rover. <laughs> That's there. There you have it. That's uh, there you go. Two yeah, like a little bit general. more like a little bit more like a like a lawnmower. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Absolutely. All right. Well, hey, Duncan, thank you very much again for You're having us here. For uh, you know, for having uh, the time to spend going through all these vehicles, and uh, we've of course done a, a quick podcast, which mm -hmm. uh, we'll be uh, look forward to that coming up, and uh, or maybe it's already out. Depends on who finds this and when. But uh, but uh, yeah, we appreciate all your time and uh, your my generosity and spending time with us. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. No, it's my pleasure, Steve. Thank you very much for coming to visit. Well, I appreciate it. All right, well, I'm going to head down to uh, London in this. We'll trade you for the TDCI right, okay. and uh, no I'll problem. hit the road. Hit the uh, hit the M9 or uh, hit the A9 in this guy. No problem. Week two is done, but we're only getting started. Join us next week as we take in some tennis at Wimbledon and tour the newly grand open Dunsfold Land Rover collection. Remember, like and subscribe so you don't miss a minute of the upcoming action.